Hi and welcome to Evolve Habits. Today's tip for better sleep may seem like a pretty obvious one. It's to sleep in dark room. Obviously you can't really sleep in a room with the light on. What, but what's not so obvious is just how dark your room should be to get the optimum sleep. I'm not talking about just switch the lights off dark. I'm talking about can't see my hand in front of my face darkness. If you can only make one adjustment to improve your sleep, this would be the one. For me, it made the most positive impact for my own sleeping problems. Once I started sleeping in a room this dark, I would wake up more refreshed and energized than I ever had. This is how dark my room gets at night. This is actually in the daytime, which is why there's light coming around the door. It's even darker at nighttime. So this level of darkness actually helps your sleep in three ways. One, there's no more distractions to look at, so you get to sleep a little bit faster. Two, it actually helps to entrench your circadian rhythm, so you get sleepy at bedtime. And number three, most importantly, when it's completely dark, your melatonin levels are the highest they'll be. This helps you to get the most deep and restorative sleep that you need. Now I have seen people suggesting that you should expose yourself to a red light for the entire night. I've talked in a previous video about how you should do it before bed to increase melatonin production. But while it's not as bad as a white light all night, red light all night is still not going to give you the same melatonin production as complete darkness. I know when my wife and I forget to switch off the red light, we do not feel so good in the morning. So to darken your room, the first step is of course, remove light sources from your room. This includes all those tiny little lights that are always on electronics that are either blinking or on all night. What you'll want to do is of course remove electronics from your room. But if you can't do that, at least get some electrical tape, cut it, cover those lights, and you can block them out. Now, unfortunately, unless you live somewhere really remote, that's not going to be enough. The level of light pollution in most cities is incredible. It literally never gets dark. So unless you have something covering your window, you're going to be getting way too much light into your room at night. Now I recommend the blackout blinds from Ikea. I tried a lot of different options before I found them, and they were the only ones that actually lay flat against the wall, therefore being blocking out almost all of the light. Now, if for some reason you can't modify your room and get it dark enough, you could wear an eye mask while you sleep. The only problem is trying to find one that blocks out all the light and is also comfortable enough for every night use. The only tricky part about sleeping in complete darkness is getting used to sleeping in complete darkness, especially if you ever used to be afraid of the dark. The trick is, of course, to do it in stages. First you get the lights out, then once you're used to that, you put up the blackout light. But don't lower it all the way to the bottom of the window, leave an inch or two so a little bit of light can still come in. Then once you're used to that much lower level of light, you can pull it down all the way. What helped me the most once I got to that stage though was a motion activated night light. This gave me an easy to turn on source of light whenever I thought there might be a monster creeping around my room. But once you actually start to experience the benefits and how refreshed and energized you feel in the morning after you sleep in such a dark room, you're going to quickly get an obsession with covering up every single source of light in your room like I did. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe. You can check out my playlist of our sleep tips. And I hope you have a good night, sleep tight. I'll see you for the next video.